Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to convert fractions to decimals. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem here, write 43 over 22 as a decimal. All right, let's make this into a long division problem. 22 goes into a 43. I always imagine the fraction tipping over. 22 goes into 43. These are two two-digit numbers. Be careful here. 22 goes into 43. Well, is that going to be only one time? 1 times 22 comes out to be a, well, 22. We subtract the two numbers here, and 43 minus a 22. Oh, what is that going to be? 3 minus 2 is a 1, and 4 minus 2 is a 2. Almost there. Where do we go from here? Same process as before. Put a decimal place right here. We're going to add a zero place value and bring that down. So 22, does it go into 210? Uh, and that's actually going to be 9 times. 22 times 10 is a 220. So we want to subtract 22 from that to get the 9 times that. And that is a 198. Well, now we subtract the two numbers. Well, 10 minus, hmm. I can figure this out. I think it's a 12, right? 2 goes, makes it plus 2, 198 makes it 200, 10 should be 12. All right, but just to double check, let's do the long way. Grab from this 1, put a 1 here, make it a 0. 10 minus 8 is a 2. Great. 0 minus 9 can't do. 2 becomes a 1, 10, yeah, 12. From there, <clears throat> we need to grab another place value. Bring that down. 0 right here. Does 22 go into, well, 120? Uh, no, but what about, does it go five times? It doesn't go, well, it doesn't go exactly, but I think five times that. Five times 20 is uh, 100 times, and two is 10. So I think five here times 22 is a 110, if I'm not mistaken. Five, yeah, two, zero, carry one. Got it. Subtract the two numbers. 120 minus 110 comes out to be just a 10. Pretty easy. Let's grab another place value and bring it down. Does 22 go into 100? Well, 5 times went to, as five times 22 is 110. We subtract one more from that. We'll do 4. 4 times 22 is an 88. Subtract the two numbers. And 100 minus 88 is a 12. And we hopefully we'll see a pattern here. Notice it. Grab another 0, bring it down. We already had 120 before. Notice the repetition right there. 120 already happened. I'm going to keep repeating that because, well, we got a 5 times 22 is a well, 110. Subtract the two numbers, get a 10, and look, the same process goes on again and again. Next one's going to be 4, oh, 4, not a 5, a 4. And this actually is going to repeat forever. What we have is a 1.95454 dot 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 dot. What is actually repeating here is that 54 number. The way we show that, we have a 1.954, put a bar over the 54, showing that those two parts will just repeat together. Ding 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 ding. 54 54 54 54. And because we're showing that it's repeating forever, we can say it's directly equal to that 43 over 22. If we didn't show that repeated forever and we rounded, we would have to say it's approximate. But since we don't have to do that, we show that it repeats forever, it's equal to that fraction. So a 43 over 22 is equal to a 1.9 and the 54 repeats forever. Hope you learned something here on how to convert fractions to decimals. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.